What is going on guys and girls, it's Ghost Robo and welcome to the long-awaited, much-anticipated My Shoe Collection video. Ever since I started posting all sorts of Nikes on Instagram, people have been asking to see my entire collection and I sit here before you with all of it behind me. I've got all sorts of colors, all sorts of craziness, so we're going to go through it and we're going to start off here with two brand new pairs that I have never even opened before. Just got these in the mail today and thought we'd add to the excitement uh, by busting them open right here with you guys. I started being very obsessed with Nike shoes after I graduated high school and it started off slowly with like a pair here a pair there and now it's kind of been like the one guilty pleasure addiction that I've had uh, over the last couple of years and sometimes I feel really bad about it I have a bunch of pairs to show you guys but it's fun, it's harmless, and it freaking adds a lot of joy and brightness and fun to my outfits and days so I don't feel too bad about it. Hopefully you guys get a kick out of this. Uh, I'm gonna start off with these brand new. Uh, these are LeBron 12 EXTs. They aren't even out yet. I got them on eBay early um, and they are pretty darn perfect. I wear a size 11 and a half uh, and almost all of these shoes are basketball shoes because that's kind of where the coolest colors and stuff come. Oh my God, you guys ready for this? Check these bad boys out. Uh, this colorway is so freaking sweet. It is like a rainbow picnic blanket here. Uh, and it is freaking awesome. On the back of the shoe, in a glittery rainbow, it says finish your breakfast, which is a reference to some streetball player uh, from New York City, but these things are so awesome. They've got the shiny white, they've got all the bright colors uh, that I like, and then they've got the, the LeBron 12 like weird colorful buttons on the bottom. Um, I love the LeBron 12 shoe. It's possibly my favorite shoe, the high tops, and then the low tops as well are just Glorious. I don't like LeBron at all, which kind of sucks. I wish I liked him more, but I can't deny that his shoe has the craziest designs um, and for the most part the best feel. It's close between the LeBron 12 and the Kobe 9, which we'll get to some of those later. The new shoe smell though is glorious. It's freaking delicious. Ooh, the inside is all checkerboard too. Check this out. If you look inside the shoe, you've got the beautiful color pattern. By the way, before we leave this very first pair, make sure to let me know down in the comments below your favorite pair of shoes that you see in this video. I wanna take a poll and see which ones people like the best. If you don't know the name, that's fine. Just describe it or go thumb someone else's comment up that has that same shoe that you're thinking of. But I'm very curious to know which one of these shoes that you're about to see, there's like 40 plus pairs, uh, is your favorite. So make sure to get in those comments and let me know. This might be one of my favorites, but we'll have to see on with the show. These guys are absolutely epic. I can't spend too long on any one pair though because I've got a lot to go through. And the next one up is a brand new pair of LeBrons. Uh, but these are not any ordinary LeBrons. These are a very special new shoe from Nike um, that is made for people with disabilities. And I think it has the coolest lacing mechanic uh, I've ever seen. They're brand new. Um, it's based on the LeBron Soldier 8 design, but it's got a super special added bonus to it. These things don't have traditional laces, as you can see. This is the Cavs colorway, which I kind of feel sick about even purchasing um, anything related to Cleveland and LeBron. Nothing against him or whatever, but just not my... I grew up in Detroit. Um, but what you do with this shoe is you open up uh, this Velcro strap and there's a zipper that pulls back and the entire shoe basically opens up, which is really cool. They're called fly ease, um, like ease, ease of use, and they're meant for people who have a difficulty opening their shoe. They were actually designed uh, around a kid who was a huge LeBron fan um, and I believe had some form of cerebral palsy and he was able to do this. They kind of like worked with him to make it super easy for him to get his shoes on, but I think it's a really sweet design. Um, and I kind of just like the idea that they went out of their way to make a shoe uh, for people who aren't able to tie and, and twist and everything normally. Uh, and this really is like quite convenient because it, it wraps around here um, with the Velcro strap, but then with one pull, as you see, you can do this and get the zipper all in one pull. So all you need to do is really get one good pull and a lot of the shoe opens up. That's pretty intense there. You can slip your foot in, which isn't a bad thing for like anybody really, because sometimes they're pretty hard to get into. Uh, I don't lace hardly any of my shoes up. I typically leave them how they come in the box, like loose and kind of like tied off. If I'm playing basketball in them, then I will obviously lace them. Uh, this is the only LeBron soldier uh, that I have, but they're pretty sweet. And even though I don't like Cleveland, I gotta give them credit, this colorway, is kind of rocking, so I like that a lot. Now we're gonna get into my collection. Those are two brand new ones, but let's get into some of my favorites starting off here. I like all of them, it's so hard to pick where to begin, um, but we're gonna start with a series of shoe that I've fallen in love with, which is the What The series. And if you know what this is, Nike takes the LeBrons, the Kobe's, the Durant's, 
and they make a mismatching pair that's sort of an amalgamation, a combination of all the colorways from the year. Uh, if you're not familiar with these kind of shoes, they release dozens of colorways every year. It's really hard to not get all of them. But these are the What LeBron um, 11s. So they are a combination of a bunch of different colorways from the LeBron 11 shoe. In fact, you'll see a lot of these different uh, elements on other pairs because that's where they come from. But it has this super sexy gold swoosh. It's got this nice pink and blue splatter design on the right shoe, um, as you can see here. But then the left foot is all orange and red. It's got even some graffiti on the side. It's got a silver line on top, whereas this one has a see-through line on top. You've got a silver swoosh versus a gold swoosh, and they look crazy when you wear them. Uh, I, I got to admit, like a lot of people notice my shoes, which is really fun. It starts conversations, or at least, uh, I don't know, it makes me feel more comfortable like at E3 or places like that. It's a good point to kind of just break the ice. Uh, people are like, whoa, those are really crazy. And when I coach basketball, my team loves that uh, I always wear something different and new and, and try to save like the good ones for big games. It just adds a little bit of a, a little bit of extra specialness to our, our games that we play. Um, but these are really awesome. Moving right along, uh, this is a newer pair. This is the Kobe 10 high tops. They ditched the fly knit for a different material, which I don't like because I love fly knit. But how can you go wrong with a rose gold swoosh here? These things are glorious. Um, I wore these at E3. I love them a lot. I really like the Kobe high tops. Uh, it seems like it would be difficult to get on, and it can be, but they're so comfortable. And the best part is they will never slip off. So you can untie these as, as loose as you want, uh, and they won't slip off. But the rose gold swoosh there is pretty darn magical. It's hard to see from far away, but if you get close and like put your eyes right up to it, you're like, dang, that's pretty pretty. Sticking into the Kobe 10 family, we've got some low tops here, and nothing gets the hype on first sight like white on white, although these are dangerous because they scuff and it's, it's over. Um, there is one mark on the top of this shoe that's like, it's almost like a dead pixel where like the lace or the material is just dirty and I can't get it off no matter how much I wash and scrape. So I kind of feel bad. I see it instantly whenever I look at them. So I don't even want to look. Nobody else probably does, but I love these white and white ones. They're reminiscent of the Kobe 9 low top Beethovens, which were super rare and expensive. Instead, I just got the tens uh, with a nice stripe on the back, white and black, keeping things pretty classy and simple. Um, ditching sort of the player models. These are the Hyper Dunk 2015s. Just came out. This is the Sprite colorway. LeBron used to do this for most of his shoes uh, when he was with Sprite, but no longer there. Nike has just adopted it for themselves. I've never actually worn these yet. They just came out, um, but they're pretty sweet. A nice high top with a like really sleek design. I've always liked the Hyper Dunks. They've become like sort of the go-to team shoe for a lot of basketball teams. These ones are pretty sweet. Back in the LeBron family, ooh. These ones are fire. Uh, they are legit red and they have metal on the back. So it's super shiny. This thing came with like cellophane over it that you had to peel off. Um, these are LeBron 10, no, LeBron 11 elites, um, which are pretty nice. They've got a, a, just a cool color scheme with the teal and red. And then I just love that metal touch on the back. Again, if you get bumped, you're in trouble and it's hard for me to even wear these shoes outside because I don't want them to get ruined. Um, one of my go-to daily pairs are these LeBron 12 uh, chromosomes, they're called. I don't know the colorway names for all these, so I'll probably start making them up. But these are the chromosomes because of the uh, the pattern on the back. But the blue, the pink, it's a good look. I like it a lot, obviously. You can tell by the dirt on the colors on the bottom that they get a lot of use from me, uh, which is pretty rare because I, I tend to switch it up, but there are some that I'm like, Ugh, I love this one. Uh, these are one of the first pairs I got. These are old KDs, so these are probably KD fives, I believe. Um, and they're an Oklahoma City colorway. Uh, I wore these to my first ever E3 every day. These were the shoes I wore. Um, and I don't really like them. You can tell they're very dirty from, from sitting in the garage for a while. Um, they are Nike Elite. I think they're KD5s. Anyways, uh, significant because I wore them to the first E3. Uh, Kobe 9 high tops. These ones released in Europe or Brazil. I'm not sure where. First. So they were pretty rare and they were hard to get when they came to the States. A lot of these shoes sell out instantly. If you don't know, like Nike limits quite a bit and you have to get them on the first day, sometimes the first hour, sometimes the first second before they sell out, depending on the run. Uh, now they're getting better where a lot of the new shoes, you can just walk into Foot Locker and pick up as long as you're there on the first day, but some still definitely are limited rare and they even do like lotteries at Foot Locker and stuff where you have to get very lucky. And I have a couple of those shoes uh, that I'll show you here, but I really like these ones. Um, the orange and green, it kind of reminds me of like mowing the lawn for some awkward reason, so we'll call these the Mow the Lawn Kobe's, uh, which I really, really like. Speaking of those rare lottery pairs, this is one of them. These are LeBrons. Um, I don't even remember what the colorway is called. We'll just call them Rainbow LeBrons. Uh, but I did have to win a lottery at Foot Locker 
to get these. And me and my friend went to get lotto tickets together. Like you write your name on a little piece of paper and then they draw them based on your size and he didn't get them. Uh, and I got these and I think they were selling for like $500. So I probably should have sold them, but they were really cool and I wanted to have one uh, that was a little bit more limited. Now, not so limited, another one of my early pairs. This is kind of the beginning of the end for me. This is what really got me hardcore into this Nike shoe hunting madness. Um, these are LeBron 10s and we'll call them the Transformers because they're golden and I think that's actually what they were called or something along those lines. Anyways, they just look metallic and remind me of like a robot in some sort of way and I really like them. And I wore these for a while and I was like, you know what, those are super cool, so we gotta get more. And that eventually evolved to these LeBron 12 uh, All-Stars, which I really like this shoe. Uh, this was the All-Star model for this year, for the All-Star game. Uh, and as you can see, it's white and it's scuffed and that makes me not wanna wear them. Um, the plasticky stuff scuffs a lot. That's why I'm a big fan of the fly knits. We'll go to the uh, Kobe 9 All-Stars. These ones are rare and sweet. Um, they're very awesome. One of the only shoes I actually bought from a reseller as opposed to getting them directly from Nike or Foot Locker or Champs or Foot Action or one of those places. Um, but they're just too awesome. They've got the gold swoosh. They've got this weird eclectic like almost, I don't know what kind of pattern you'd call it, like an abstract pattern on the side. Like a stained glass window is what it kind of reminds me of. Um, but they're really cool with the glow in the dark. Uh, soles on the bottom. Love those guys and love the fly knit because it doesn't scratch. I wish every shoe used fly knit. Back to the what the, these are the what the KD8s uh, and they are, I, I, I haven't worn these yet because I don't want to scuff them, but they're so freaking sick. I love the neon nature of the color scheme uh, and they again are totally mismatching as you can see. This one even has the winged uh, strap, which we'll get to the actual shoes that those come from next. This one has a regular strap. Plus they have like underneath the plastic, you can see they've got a crazy pattern that's different on both sides. If you look closely, it's a very different pattern. And um, I like this shoe better with the neon green and pink than this one with the red, but it's just an awesome look to have them totally mismatching. Now, these aren't my favorite, but if I had to make out with one pair of shoes, it would be these angels. Uh, these are the KD8, or KD7. I guess those are the, what the KD7s then, and these are the KD7 Ant Pearls, um, but they have the angel strap on the top. They've got the gold swoosh with the pink little eye laces or eyelets or whatever those things are called. Uh, pink interior, gold KD, gold swooshes, and I think they're just so freaking, they're pretty darn yummy. Um, another colorway that I've worn a ton lately, uh, and I'll call these the watermelon LeBrons because they remind me of watermelon gum. Uh, these are LeBron 10, 12 lows. Gosh, numbers are failing me right now and I love the look of them. The, the 12 lows are incredibly comfortable. I might even like these better than the highs. Um, and they've just got this nice green pink look going on here uh, with the black over them, kind of the see-through look. I wore these at Comic-Con, uh, which are pretty cool. Switching off from Nike, the only pair of shoes I think in this entire collection that's not Nike are these father to son Steph Curry uh, teal and purple Under Armour shoes. Now I didn't like his shoe at first, but I kind of really do, especially based on his amazing season. Um, and in person, they look great, they feel great. Noah wears these to play basketball, this exact uh, look. Um, they've got the SC on the back for Steph Curry. How can you not like the colorway either? Like it's super, super great. Um, I don't like this team very much, but I've grown to love the purple and gold for the Lakers, uh, Kobe Nines with the fly knit. I just like the fly knit because it's got sort of that pattern that changes up as it goes down the toe, um, giving you a different look on the inside versus the outside, and it looks really cool like when you're running down the court. Now these I picked up off eBay. Uh, they are the LeBron 10 Pure Platinums. Freaking platinum. Uh, they've got a very ethereal, celestial look to them, um, which I really like. You can see there's like a purple, and blue kind of speckled glory going on there with the orange neon around the swoosh. And the swooshes are actually backwards, which is really weird. These are LeBron uh, 10s, I believe. Um, yeah, you got the X on the bottom. And I just really like this colorway a lot. And I've been looking at them for a while and I finally found a guy who was selling them actually for retail price. I have one pair of Kyrie's. Don't really like him, but these were too sick, freaking delicious Bahama banana colorway uh, with the teal and the yellow. I like bright stuff, and I like to have different colors for plenty of different outfits, make sure I can match whatever shirt I'm wearing. Um, and they're 
really narrow, so they hurt my feet a lot when I wore them at E3. Um, but I love the spikiness on the back, and I like just sort of the dotted pattern. At first I thought it looked like a cheap mesh, uh, but it ends up being pretty darn cool. More Kobe 9 action. These ones were not very rare, but they definitely have the look of something super awesome. Gold swoosh, neon green. Really, really like these guys. I actually got my dad kind of into the Kobe 9s. I got him a pair of those and then a pair of the Kobe 10s for him to wear, and it's pretty cool because he gets like compliments for being older guy-ish wearing super awesome shoes, so that's pretty cool. Now we're gonna go through kind of some more normal looking shoes. I'm just gonna show you one of them. Uh, LeBron's, we'll call this one the Grey Ghost, I like that. Uh, this one, hmm, orange and like a weird submarine-like, sort of more like an underwater exploration shoe, we'll call that. This is like, again, a Grey Kobe 10 uh, sort of gray and green. Maybe, maybe this could even be a Ghost Robo shoe, even though I'm not really having any gray or green in my thing whatsoever. So I guess it's not really a ghost robe. More like gray f forest fighters, we'll call that one. Um, here we've got some blue low top Kobe 10s, one of the first Kobe 10s that came out. Maybe it was the first. Uh, and you think it was totally normal until you look and see the orange and whatever interior. So we'll call this fish food because I don't really understand why we've got all the orange and black and blue uh, <laughs> beneath there. Um, these ones are some KD7s. They've got a weird pattern on the back. Very artistic, very fine gold swoosh. I thought that was rare when I first got a pair with gold swooshes, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, but now it's kind of on everything. The rose gold, I guess, is the new like it thing uh, to have. But I like the pattern. Um, these are the Native American nasties with their weird falcony eagle pattern thing on the back. Um, this is an extraterrestrial orange Kobe 7, 8? Kobe 8 maybe? Um, these ones were a weird pack that came with like a newspaper article about like aliens and I don't know, it was really weird. They're not comfortable at all. I like the shoe. I hate wearing it. Um, here we have a fly knit Nike runner. This one is just fantastical. The color wheel of chaos right here. They bend really easy. They feel really good. They're comfortable to wear and the material is all fly knit all around so you kind of just like slip around in the shoe. I guess it's supposedly good for running. Uh, a Nike boot here. This one keeps me warm and not wet in the winter time. They've got an interior lining to keep your foot warm and keep the water out. I've got these soaked once or twice, as you can see by the leather deformation right there. Other than that, they're pretty darn powerful. They've got a nice heel and a nice uh, sole to shoe to keep you on top of the snow, and they definitely keep you warm. They are insulated and feel oh so fine in that winter time. Um, here we're looking at an N7 running shoe again. Nice bend there, I guess, if that's what you're into. Crisscross pattern looking pretty good, and it helps support um, Native Americans with your purchase. A first Kobe 9. Uh, this is not the very first Kobe 9, but the first one I got. It's yellow and it's plain. Bumblebee Jane is what we'll call it there. Um, here is the blue version of that Transformer shoe. The second pair of the LeBron 10s that I got, and this one is the Blue Beetle, as I have deemed it just now. Uh, moving right along, we've got a blue Kobe 9, which is the brother of the Blue Beetle. It's got some neon green, though, and looks pretty fancy fine. Uh, my Good friend that I talked about with the lottery actually has these shoes as well. We wore them together sometimes, which is quite cute. So we'll call these the cute couple. The LeBronald Palmer. That's a mouthful. Say it again. The LeBronald Palmer. It's like the Arnold Palmer drink. You can see the drink in the shoe right there, kind of, sort of, maybe. I've never had it. It sounds gross. I don't really like iced tea. Uh, but the shoe way is like banana-y, summery. Some people think it totally sucks with its muted nature, but I like its freaking Hawaiian flair. Okay, good one. Uh, these are the KD767. Seven, six, se six, seven, six ligers. Uh, liger, what an animal. Lion, tiger, you can see the speckles and the freaking good colors. This shoe has like the flimsiest material. Somehow Kevin Durant gets the worst Nike design of all. Worse than Kyrie, worse than Kobe, and definitely worse than LeBron. I don't know what he's doing. The eights look terrible. I don't want to buy any of them. Uh, but this one was a pretty cool design. I actually have a couple more of these pairs that are lost somewhere in translation. I don't know where they went. Um, but I did like this one a lot just because it's a weird animal print, which is something you don't see too often on shoes. These guys are Kobe Lowe's. Uh, they're not flying it though, and there's some strange mosaic, so we'll call them uh, the purple piece to piece, purple pieces. Okay, good. Uh, these ones are really boring. These are the Kobe 10 All-Star Lows. I like the weird high thing on the back, like shaped like a squid. Okay, that's pretty nice. These are Kobe 10 All-Stars. Don't need to come up with a crazy name uh, for them. These guys remind me of Fruity Pebbles, although they're not the Fruity Pebble colorway because that's reserved just for kids in the LeBron shoes. Sometimes I wish I could wear the kids' versions because they release 
only like exclusive stuff for grade school and I obviously can't fit with my 11 and a half foot uh, but these ones are nice because they're black which is a little bit stylish a little bit classy and then you've got the cool color combination on the front nice 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 these are KD6 elites they are I think a mango-ish colorway maybe that's what it's called actually this has nothing to do with mango probably watermelon green and pink once again ew these ones are yucky it's the first KD7 uh, it's like not pink and not orange it's more like if the two got together and had a disgusting child and it was covered in slime. It's too bright, but not in a good way. And the strap is like kind of cool. I don't know, I don't really wear these that often. Um, here we go, these are what the Kobe 9s. And uh, I like to think of these shoes, for some reason they remind me a lot of chalk. Uh, don't they kind of like the fact that they're more like outline-ish? Uh, they are actually matching what those, which is weird. It kind of defies the whole purpose of the what the shoe line, uh, but they're really cool and I actually wear these a lot and a lot of people seem to really like them just because they're a unique look. Um, they're white, but then they've got all the color uh, and they look pretty darn sick, especially with that interior pattern right there. Moving right along, what do I have left? Let's see. It's nowhere near Christmas time, but these are the Christmas. LeBron 11s, uh, and they actually have a defect on them. I don't remember where it is, but I do remember calling Nike and asking if I could send them back, and they said, sorry, we don't have any extra pairs. So I was like, okay, I'll keep them, and their crazy bright red ornament thing on the front. Nice Christmassy design. I'll probably wear these around the holiday time. I just hate wearing these shoes in the snow because they are bound to get ruined, which is sort of the weird part about having all these shoes uh, in the Midwest. You kind of have to be really careful of rain and weather. Uh, I carumba, though. Talk about a cool pair. These are the what the KD uh, sixes, and I love them a lot. They are possibly my favorite. Um, all the what does are so good. It's hard for me to pick favorites, but these ones are really great. The first I got of the mismatching nature, and I think they do the nicest job of mismatching in a way that still works together. Like you've got the zebra print here, and more of the uh, like spacey print over here. You've got the peanut butter uh, swoosh over here, and you got the bright yellow one here. You can see some of the, like the bamboo and liger, uh, and even the KD is like done up in gold and in dots there. You've got the floral print on the back. On this side, you've got sort of this weird hooligan school kid print and the orange print. Uh, they're just pretty fine. You got the interior. Uh, that's from the meteorologist KDs on the inside. The like the tongue of the, or not the tongue the the shoe pad foot holder soul hugger. I don't know. Uh, and this one has like a weird picnic blanket look too right there. And even on the bottom, I didn't even notice this, but you've got like the Christmas KD logo right there. I don't know if you can see that. Get it real close. Come on, focus. There you got. Christmas ornaments on the KD on the bottom, and this one is like purple people eating, and that doesn't even look like it says KD. No, it's like backwards and on its sorts. It looks like it says B, and then like a kissy fish. Be kissy. Okay, if that's what you say, um, I guess we'll agree. Last but not least, we have these glorious Kobe. Uh, <laughs> Last but not least, we have these glorious Kobe 9s, the gold, the black, and the white. They're one of the cleanest pairs, and I love that they have like the neon pink, orange, flare, fire, whatever it's called, uh, stuff for the uh, little eyelets and the interior, um, the tongue and all that, and on the bottom. I really love this pair. I actually got them for Noah as well to use for basketball. And that brings us to a close for all of my shoes. Like I said, there's a couple pairs missing here. And I have on a special order a new pair that I wish I had now, but it's not coming until August. Um, I'll give you guys a broad, like, top-down view of all of them because it kind of looks cool to see that in combination, the cornucopia of all the different colors. But if I had to pick a favorite, and I want to make sure you guys let me know in the comments below what your favorite is, it's hard. I'm really bad at choosing favorites, and a lot of times it's the most recent things that appeal to me the most. So, like, I really like these shoes. These watermelon gum LeBron 12 Lows, I love these. I've been wearing them a ton lately. They go with a lot of different outfits, whether I'm wearing, like, black, gray, pink, they seem to just go with a lot. And I can see these ones, these brand new guys, uh, getting a lot of use as well, just because they have every color and they've got the white. I'm gonna have to be careful though, because this is white plastic and it will scuff and scratch and scrape super easily. So I'm gonna have to watch out for those. I also like this new shoe. These like hyper eases are pretty sweet with that Real nice technology is to rip them off and put them on. They might be great for basketball. The soldiers usually are a pretty solid and strong basketball shoe, but I obviously love all of them. I really do. It's so hard for me to pick a favorite. The what the stuff is really great, whether it's the what the Kobe's, whether it's the new uh, what the KD's. There's an awesome what the LeBron 12 coming out later this year, I think in November, that I'm going to be all over. And I still like some of these guys, like the cleaner, simpler shoe, uh, the KD Ant Pearls with the freaking angel wing band on the top. That's pretty awesome. All right, here's the wide angle shot of the collection. I'm actually missing a few pairs. 
that are in somebody's garage somewhere from one of my moves. I think there's about seven or eight extra ones that I'm missing, but I love looking at them collectively as a whole. This is the first time I've ever done this, uh, just because you can see the amazing, amazing variety of colors. You can taste the rainbow here uh, with all the Kobe's, the LeBron's, the Durant's, and then the extras along the bottom and the two new pair down there. It is a magnificent rainbow of ridiculous fun. And like this definitely brightens my day every morning to pick which pair I'm gonna wear. And uh, it's a tough decision. I end up usually going with one of the newest two or three. So a lot of the older guys get left behind, but I do mix it up and I pretty much have a color for every occasion. I'm missing a straight up pink pair but I'm probably Nike IDing some of those soon, uh, so I can really make sure I've got every corner of the color wheel covered here. That is all of them right now. Man, that's pretty cool. I have a huge mess to clean up. It's kind of a problem to store, like I need one of those shoe cart things that you wheel around to display them and pick, because they end up sitting in boxes, and then I'm like, I didn't even remember I had that one, so this was really fun to go back and like dig through and be like, I should be wearing these, I should be wearing these, and obviously it would take a while to go through all of them, but it's pretty fun uh, just to mix it up, and it, it, like I said, it, it brings me a little bit of extra smiles and joy in the morning, so even if it is crazy and my mom thinks I'm insane for buying this many pairs of shoes, uh, it's the one kind of weird thing I do for myself. So hopefully you had fun with this video. I sure did. I'm going to get going now. It's late, as you can tell, and I'm going to get some sleep. Hopefully you had a fun time here. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you did, let me know your favorite shoe in the comments down below, and until next time, I probably won't do one of these for years. So you're one of the first people to see it, or maybe you're the last person to see it before YouTube shuts down. Either way, thanks for being here. Thanks for being awesome. Make sure to let me know your favorites down in the comments below, and until next time, we'll see you all later.